All right, thanks, Greg. Well, it is Brent joins us now with Barnes and Nobles, and he is going to be talking about the different CDs and books that are out. Looks like it's kind of getting into that Christmas thing. We're totally getting into the Christmas thing. Now, I do realize, of course, that Halloween is a week from tomorrow. Exactly. But, you know, it's that time of year, and people are already already shopping for the various holidays. Absolutely. Christmas included. Okay, so we're going to start with the CDs. Well, CDs, uh, Katy Perry's new album is out this week, okay. long awaited. And the thing about Katy Perry is she's a very talented pop singer. She's a very hard working entertainer. If you ever seen any of her live footage, mm -hmm. she just works very, very hard to put on a great show. And she tries to put a lot of her own personality and her own life experience into the songs that she writes. Mm -hmm. If she has a relationship and she's happy about it, you will hear about it in a song. Mm -hmm. If she's not happy about it, you will hear about it in a oh, song. Yeah. Um, and I think there's some things possible about John Mayer on this album. That, that's the rumor anyway. Mm -hmm. But they're really, really slickly crafted, uh, real hummable. And then she puts a real great show around it. So she's just, you know, just doing everything she wants to do. Yeah, some of the music videos I've seen her in, she just, I would use the word fun. I mean, yes. she just seems like she's having a good time. Yes, seems that way. Okay, what's our next one? The next one is uh, Fifth Harmony, mm -hmm. who was, I believe, on the X Factor, uh, oh. a female vocal group, I think it's like five members. And mm -hmm. so they're sort of like Backstreet Boys, but in heels. Yeah, girl. You know, yeah. And so, you know, they're good singers and everything, and they're new, it's their first album. And so, you know, they've got some experience to get, and uh, they're, 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 they're working hard. Okay. And, okay. It, and it's just a fun pop album. Okay, now here we go with the Christmas, even though, like yes. you said, we're only still out well, a week well, probably. Well, last week, I think, uh, it was uh, Mary J. Blige, I think, yes. had perhaps a very Merry Christmas at the first Christmas mm -hmm. album out of the year. This is uh, Il Volo, who is a classically trained um, opera singing trio of young uh, vocalists, and they got with a Christmas album um, doing some traditional things as well as some more uh, some more choral type things as well. Yes, okay. and you know what, it seems like the opera kind of is coming back. Yes, yeah. You know? uh, classical classical albums and opera albums are really doing a really great crossover into sort of pop music as well. Yeah, okay, okay. And then the next, the last album here on the end is The Piano Guys. And The Piano Guys are kind of a YouTube sensation. There are some guys with pianos who <laughs> just have a lot of fun playing different types of music and they decided to do a Christmas theme album as well. And you know, it, it's pretty good. They're very, very entertaining. Every once in a while, a YouTube sensation can actually produce something besides a YouTube video. Okay, absolutely. I'm kind of checking it out, seeing the different um, Christmas songs that are on there. Okay, let's talk about the books. This John is Grisham. huge. John Maybe. Grisham, uh, 25 years after A Time to Kill, he comes out with a sequel. Really? Yes. Uh, Sycamore Row is um, the lawyer who was in that at the same courthouse. And a man um, who I guess had a terminal disease writes a brand new will and then hangs himself from a tree. And of course, everyone just erupts with how was he in his right state of mind? Why did he leave all the money to the maid? I, sorry, no spoilers. Yeah. But seriously, so there's a mystery behind it and it's a really complicated and fun kind of twist-turning kind of legal drama. Now, Time to Kill, was that Matthew McConaughey that In the movie, the yes, and Samuel L. Jackson was on trial. Okay, got it. Okay, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So taking on from there, oh, I'd love to see where they are 25 yeah, years later. definitely. So does it pick up like 25 years has, has yes, passed? Yes, yes, it's been like 25 years for oh, sure. Wow. For okay. sure. All right. Heart is by uh, Dick Cheney, who, of course, the former vice president, mm -hmm. who now is one of the most famous heart patients in the world. Mm -hmm. He received a transplant in 2012. It's a book written with him, his wife, and his doctor talking about their journey um, and heart treatment. So it's a really cool book to kind of raise awareness about, you know, the heart condition and the heart um, health profession. Uh, everyone's got people in their family who have to deal with, uh, with heart disease and, and with, with treatment. And so it's really interesting in that regard. Okay. Uh, Wally Lamb's new book, uh, We Are Water, is about um, a couple getting married. They happen to be two women, and of course it raises some problems in their family and in their, in their community. So it's sort of a look at that through the different characters and different people. Kind of a slice of life kind of thing. Okay, I like this one. One choice. One choice can transform you. One choice can destroy you. Yes. One choice can define you. Yes. Allegiant is the third book in the, tri the trilogy of Divergent. It is a teen series about young people trying to survive in this dystopian future. Kind of it, once you go through Hunger Games, there's other series coming after that where it's a sort of difficult future to try to survive. Mm -hmm. It's that sort of thing. Wow, really interesting. Well, thank you so much as always, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.